Podcast. Here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, the good news is that most of the effects of what will likely be Hurricane Zeta will be east of Acadiana. Bad news, a hurricane's hitting the Louisiana coast again tomorrow evening. This time tomorrow night, it's going to be rocking and rolling across southeast Louisiana up into Mississippi. Hurricane conditions likely. So let's get into it and talk about it. Uh, locally, we're going to see tropical showers, some overnight tonight, some again tomorrow, but the day will not be a washout. All the big action off to the east. We see some of those tropical showers working their way in, even heavier showers all the way up through Jackson and Meridian, Mississippi. Uh, close to home, we're seeing those tropical showers moving through the Lake Arthur area, Acadia Parish, and some action down between Generette, New Iberia, and near St. Martinville. That's going to be moving through Lafayette Parish right around the next half hour or 45 minutes or so. All all ahead of our tropical storm, soon to be hurricane and more tropical showers moving in overnight tonight. The high resolution rapid refresh model catching that and then we'll see more rain shower activity tomorrow. But notice the more concentrated action with the hurricane as it moves inland. We'll go ahead and take a closer look at that hurricane in just a bit. Drier air moving in by midnight tomorrow night. So here's the satellite imagery over the last 12 hours of Zeta coming off the Yucatan as a tropical storm, but you can see over the 12 hour period, not much in the way of cold cloud tops. Then the cloud tops getting colder. They're getting more circular around the center of circulation. And it looks like this thing is a hurricane to me if I were making the call. But officially, uh, it's a 70 mile an hour tropical storm based on the National Hurricane Center. No change in the pressure. That pressure is estimated. Hurricane hunters will get out there later tonight. And I got a feeling we're going to see a little bit of a rapid intensification cycle for the next 12 hours. Hurricane Center has us going up to 85 mile per hour winds may go briefly closer to 90 or 95 somewhere in here. And of course they have it making landfall not only as a hurricane, but we see it still as a hurricane as it's making another landfall in Mississippi. So that tells us there's going to be a period in here where it may begin to weaken once it gets north of 25 degrees north latitude, but it may be in the 90 mile an hour or 95 mile an hour range somewhere around here before we start to see shear in the cooler shelf waters uh, in part some uh, uh, negating factor. And again, the shelf water temperatures are not that cool. Mid to upper 70s uh, down here. We're still in the low to mid 80s. That's why it's going to have opportunity to intensify. No change in the track. No change in the watches and warnings. We have the tropical storm watches locally for our coast just in case things should change. But we're not expecting tropical storm conditions here in Acadiana or St. Mary Parish for that matter. Hurricane warning, especially for easternmost Louisiana. New Orleans still now out on the out of the woods yet on the possibility of near hurricane conditions there, but I think it's just going to go east of the downtown NOLA area. And the other good news of the day, one to three foot uh, tidal rise here for Acadiana, Vermilion, Chafalaya and Timbalier Bay. Uh, that uh, changes though as you get into southeast Louisiana up to five to eight feet over toward the Mississippi coastline and anything you see in yellow is going to be claimed by the Gulf of Mexico and it's going to be uh, again uh, around Highway 1 being in a dated once again typical spots that get inundated with a hurricane. Uh, again, that water will be up for a day or two, then go down and then inundations right along the immediate coastline all the way over to Bayou Labatry and uh, into uh, Mobile Bay as well, uh, getting into Alabama. So here's the NAM model. This is the latest model run we have and it looks spot on and also intensifies this storm to a cat too. So we'll keep an eye on that. Always count on uh, one level category higher than the forecast. Right now it's forecast to be a one, but this looks close to a two making landfall eastern Terrebonne Parish and then off to the east between Galliano and Nola. A notice not a whole lot of rain here late tomorrow afternoon. This is the way it may play out. Even though we have scattered showers in the forecast, you can see the core of that storm still quite intense as it heads towards Gulfport and Biloxi in, in Mississippi and then gradually weakens with time. And then we're looking at clearing skies tomorrow night. Temperatures Thursday, upper 40s to lower 50s to start and maxing out somewhere in the mid 60s, so a big shot of fall on the way. Here's the wind forecast based on the NAM model as well. Oh, this has just come in, so we're watching this uh, the same time as you're watching it. Came in on commercial break. 70, 80 mile per hour winds likely. Areas of white approaching 100 mile per hour gusts, so we'll watch that. So southeast Louisiana gets a pounding with this system. For us, we see 15, 25 mile an hour winds, and again, up to 80 mile per hour wind gusts into Mississippi and 70 plus into Alabama as well. Areas 
areas that got pounded uh, with Hurricane Sally just a few weeks back. Now, power outages will be extreme southeastern Louisiana, eastern Louisiana, and into southern Mississippi based on that wind forecast that we just showed you. So here's the rainfall. Not much rain locally. We catch an inch, maybe more in a few spots, but no flooding. But uh, the RPM model going for a solid three to six isolated up to eight near the core of that storm where it makes landfall. So no issues on tides, flooding rain, wind damage and power outages. The only issue may be tides along the coast, Vermilion Bay, Sippermore Point up one to two, one to three feet, but no other issues uh, with this system. We think at this point and we're pretty confident on the forecast track. Scattered showers tomorrow, especially in the morning, then maybe a little drier, a little breezier as the day ends. And by this time tomorrow night, rain's ending that front moving in and there you go. Here comes the cool weather highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s. Coolest weather of the season as we head into Halloween and beyond with a secondary front likely coming in for Sunday, ensuring a very nice week next week as well. That's it for weather. We're going to be right back right after this.